Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will draw a logo design for David Dre. David Dre is an owner of property business named as Dre Home. His property business majorly relies on residential houses. Now he wants a minimal logo for his identification. Before that, he was using just the name Dre Homes for his identity. But now he wants a specific symbol. So our task in this tutorial is to design a logo for Dre Homes. Now let's continue with the part 1 of this tutorial, which is how to find the logo design idea. Here we have two words for the logo, Dre and Homes. For the homes, it is obvious that we can use any of these symbols, which best represents a residential house. But for the Dre we have a problem because we cannot use any of these symbols, as it is the name of the owner. So from the Dre, we can extract only the initial letter D. Now our task is to design a logo which is a combination of two elements, letter D and home. Let's continue with the part 2 of the tutorial which is vector design process in any of the vector based graphic design software. You can follow this tutorial whether you are using Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW or Inkscape because I will use simple tools like pen tool, circle tool and rectangle tool which are available in each and every software and I will also elaborate each and every dimension which I will use for the part design so that you can easily follow the tutorial for any software. So in this tutorial I will use Inkscape but Adobe Illustrator users can also follow this tutorial easily as I will show the side screens video that how to perform a specific task in Adobe Illustrator. So in Inkscape first of all go to view and select it to wide. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of the options are turned on. Go to file, go to document properties, set the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. Now here at the right corner you will see a command bar. At the end of command bar you will see a small arrow. Left click on it and select align and distribute menu. Again left click and select fill and stroke menu. Now select zoom to fit to page like this. Now select the pen tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key like this. Set the height of the line to say 600 pixels. Go to fill and stroke menu and in stroke style change the units to pixels and set the width to 3 pixels like this. Now again select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line while holding down the control key. Set the width of the line to say 110 pixels and also set its stroke width to 3 pixels like this. Now turn on the snapping and turn on snap to pass and nodes and turn on all of these options like this. In Adobe Illustrator, these snapping options are working by default. Now drag this line up to this point. Now select this line, right click duplicate it and drag it here. Now you can delete this horizontal line. Again select both of these lines, right click, duplicate it and drag them horizontally while holding down the control key up to this point. Again right click, duplicate it and drag them horizontally up to this point. Again right click duplicate it and drag them up to this point like this. Now select one of these lines, right click duplicate it and rotate it to 90 degrees like this and drag it up to this point. Now again select the pen tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key and set the height of the line to say 135 pixels. Go to fill and stroke menu and set the width of the line to 3 pixels. Place this line at this end, select this line, right click, duplicate it and place it at this end. Now select both of these lines, right click, duplicate it and drag them vertically downward while holding down the control key up to this point. Again right click, duplicate them and drag them vertically downward up to this point. Now select the pen tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key like this and set the height of the line to say 35 pixels. Go to fill and stroke menu and set the width of the line to say 3 pixels. Now right click and duplicate this line. Place one of the line at this end and the second line at this end. Now select this line, right click, duplicate it and place it at this end. Now select this line, right click, duplicate it and place it at this end. Now select these smaller lines and press delete on the keyboard like this. Now select all of these lines, 
go to path and select combine you can perform the same operation in adobe illustrator by going to windows then select pathfinder and select merge now change the color of these lines to this light red color by holding down shift key on the keyboard like this now select the circle tool and take it at this intersection point at the middle hold down the control and shift key on the keyboard and drag the circle with the left click of mouse up to this point like this you can perform the same operation in adobe illustrator by holding down alt and shift key now change the color of the circle to this black color by holding down the shift key on the keyboard like this now select edit paths by nodes tool and drag this circular icon up to this point and this one up to this point now select zoom to fit to selection like this and like this again select the circle tool and select this arc point you can perform the same operation in adobe illustrator by selecting direct selection tool left click on circle and drag the mouse between two nodes and press delete on the keyboard now again drag the mouse between these two nodes and press delete on the keyboard and we are done now go to path and select object by path and drag this circle while holding down the control key up to this point now select zoom to fit to page again select the pen tool and draw a line from this point to this intersection point and up to this intersection point and press enter on the keyboard like this again draw a line from this point to this intersection point up to this intersection point again up to this intersection point and this one and this one and press enter on the keyboard like this now select this wireframe and press delete on the keyboard now select this part go to width and select the width to say 40 pixels like this now this is our final design for dre homes now select this logo go to path and select stroke to path we can perform the same operation in adobe illustrator by going to object then go to path and select outline stroke now select the logo with the left click of mouse and reduce the dimensions by dragging this arrow while holding down the control key in adobe illustrator you have to drag the arrow by holding down the shift key now select the text tool and write the name of the logo which is dre homes now select this one we will set the font to calibri and set the dimensions to bold now again reduce the dimensions by dragging this arrow while holding down the control key for Inkscape and you have to hold down the shift key for Adobe Illustrator like this I think that it's better now it's time to give our logo some colors which I have already decided you can easily identify the colors from the color codes now select this logo and select the eyedropper tool this tool is available in both Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator and select this color now select the name of the logo again select the eyedropper tool and select this color now this is our final design for Dre Homes now you can see the presentation of the design this presentation is made for the client now if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and share your thoughts about the design and also suggest me in the comments section that how this design can be improved. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.